Let's pray before we begin. Lord, please let us understand your word and put it in our hearts. May it shape our lives to be more like your Son. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Chapter 15 The Burden of Moab Because in the night Ar of Moab is laid waste and brought to silence. Because in the night Ker of Moab is laid waste and brought to silence. He has gone up to Bajith and to Dibon, the high places, to weep. Moab shall howl over Nebo and over Medeba, on all their heads shall be baldness and every beard cut off. In their streets they shall gird themselves with sackcloth, on the tops of their houses and in their streets everyone shall howl, weeping abundantly. And Heshbon shall cry, and Elaeli, their voice shall be heard even unto Jahaz. Therefore the armed soldiers of Moab shall cry out, his life shall be grievous unto him. My heart shall cry out for Moab. His fugitives shall flee unto Zoar, an heifer of three years old. For by the mounting up of Luhith, with weeping shall they go it up. For in the way of Horonaim they shall raise up a cry of destruction. For the waters of Nimrim shall be desolate. For the hay is withered away, the grass faileth, there is no green thing. Therefore the abundance they have gotten, and that which they have laid up, shall they carry away to the brook of the willows. For the cry has gone round about the borders of Moab, the howling thereof unto Eglaim, and the howling thereof unto Beerilim. For the waters of Diamond shall be full of blood, for I will bring more upon Diamond, lions upon him that escapeth of Moab, and upon the remnant of the land. Matthew Henry Commentary on Isaiah chapter 15. This prophecy coming to pass within three years would confirm the prophet's mission and the belief in all his other prophecies. Concerning Moab it is foretold, verse 1, that their chief cities should be surprised by the enemy. Great changes, and very dismal ones, may be made in a very little time. Verse 2, the Moabites would have recourse to their idols for relief. Ungodly men, when in trouble, have no comforter. But they are seldom brought by their terrors to approach our forgiving God with true sorrow and believing prayer. Verse 3. There should be the cries of grief through the land. It is poor relief to have many fellow sufferers, fellow mourners. Verse 4. The courage of their soldiers should fail. God can easily deprive a nation of that on which it most depended for strength and defence. Verse 5. These calamities should cause grief in the neighbouring parts. Though enemies to Israel, yet as our fellow creatures, it should be grievous to see them in such distress. In verses 6 to 9, the prophet describes the woeful lamentations heard through the country of Moab when it became a prey to the Assyrian army. The country should be plundered, and famine is usually the sad effect of war. Those who are eager to get abundance of this world and to lay up what they have gotten, little consider how soon it may be all taken from them. While we warn our enemies to escape from ruin, let us pray for them that they may seek and find forgiveness of their sins. Please consider, how does this chapter apply to you? Thank you for listening. If you want to know more about Jesus and what the gospel means to you, then hit the video shown on the left of the screen and please don't forget to subscribe. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless your day.